Hey, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about dynamic coupons and why you should use them. So to create a dynamic coupon inside of Klaviyo, you don't have to go to Shopify. You just go to content tab and then coupons and you can create it from there. Now, why you should be using dynamic code instead of regular codes that you can create in Shopify like discount code. So there are a few reasons behind it. First one is that it creates more urgency. So if you receive a discount code saying welcome 10 and you say it expires in 24 hours, People won't believe it that much, I mean they will to some sort of like level, but it isn't that like unique, so once you create an actual code that is unique and dynamic for all the people, they're gonna feel more urgent, like it, it can actually expire. Another reason is that people can just use those codes and they have to opt in in order to use them. So let's say you're on Nike and someone googles Nike discount codes, then you have those, a bunch of websites that are just showing discount codes that you are sending in your emails, so someone could just use the code without signing up for your email list, which is not ideal. That's why you want to use those codes. So in order to do it, I'll show you how to create it in two ways. First one will be for flows and the second one will be for campaigns. So let's just start by creating create Shopify coupon, then name, let's start with welcome flow, for example. So we'll do it welcome 15, then prefix, uh, we, it doesn't really matter that much. It's just gonna show up in Shopify so you can see where the code is coming from. Uh, then you have a three different types, so fixed amount, percentage or free shipping. Let's just go with fixed amount and make it $15 off. Then obviously you can change what it applies to, so it can be either entire order or specific products or specific collections. For the sake of the example, let's just go with entire order. You can also change the required minimum purchase, for now we'll just leave it blank. And then once, if you're creating the code for flows, the activation should be at send time. So what it means is that if someone enters the welcome flow and they receive the first email, the code is being active and generated once the email is being sent. Then another great feature is expiration. So let's say your welcome flow is sending a bunch of emails and the last one is being sent on day number 11, where you say, okay, you have 24 hours to claim your code. What you can do is have an expiration day that will, the code will expire after 12 days. That's why you can actually create the real urgency, meaning that if the code expires and someone doesn't use it, they won't be able to do it anymore. So even if they don't claim it within the email or within the welcome flow, then they know that you're not faking the urgency and that the codes are actually gonna expire if you say so. So here are the basic settings you can do for uh, for code and coupon for flows. Then just pre press create coupon. Yeah, just a quick break. So if you're running an e-commerce store and you want to profitably scale it using email and SMS, go to ventivemail.com and book a call with me. It's completely free and I'm gonna show you how my team and I can help you implement our custom strategies to finally profitably scale your e-commerce business. Go to ventivemail.com, book a call with me and let's have a chat. And then I wanna show you one more example of that will create a coupon for campaigns. So let's name it campaign, uh, campaign 15, prefix will be CA, fixed amount, let's make it also 15, the same settings apply, and then activation time. So let's say you send campaign on Friday, you're doing a weekend flash sale, then expiration on a specific date as well. So in this case, we will do Sunday. So the coupon is being active for three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, just like that. And then you press create coupon. Very simple, uh, small differences. But if you're creating a coupon for campaigns, what you have to do is press add code because they are not being created. So you have to actually create them because they are not being activated at the same time. So press uh, add codes. And let's say you're sending this campaign to like 500 people, you would need to create 500 codes. Uh, we'll just press add codes and you can see the codes are being created. So over the time it's gonna change the available search total. Once they're created it's gonna be 500 out of 500. And then for a welcome flow uh, the codes are gonna start populating once people start joining the welcome flow. So now how do you use those codes? There is a simple uh, syntax code on the Klaviyo Hell website which you can just copy. Um, you just Google like coupon codes Klaviyo syntax and you can you will see the first article and you have to copy and paste this part. I'm gonna show you how it looks like and just insert instead of the coupon name, you will have the actual name of the coupon. So in this case it would be campaign 15 or welcome 15. Oh, and you can see the codes are ready. So I'll just refer to the page and it will say 500 out of 500. Yeah, exactly. So now let's just go to flows. I'll just pick any flow, it doesn't really matter. Um, usually if you would be creating code for a welcome flow, you would have this code in the welcome series. We can do it just like that as well. Uh, so we go to flows, 
then you, do, you would need to add the, uh, the actual flow or the email. So right now we don't have any uh, tag whatsoever because it was a simple and draft uh, campaign or flow. So let's just pick this one, uh, doesn't really matter. It's just for the sake of the example. So it will, you would have to do it for every single email where you send the actual code. But then what, what you do is you have like a text block. So you just, you know, add one more space and uh, then you copy this entire code. So copy everything. Then you just paste it. Uh, instead of keep on name, you would just have welcome 15, oh, uh, almost. Welcome 15, yeah, just like that. And that's it. Uh, within once you set the actual email, people are gonna see the generated and custom code as being sent only to them and it's gonna be really unique and then they need to copy and paste it. That's why you can't have this code on the actual image or on the hair image. It has to be a text of blog, but it's not a big deal because you want to still use them to have better deliverability. So that's exactly how we create and use welcome codes, um, sorry, dynamic coupon codes for the welcome flow or any other flow. Same goes for campaigns. So if you want to do it for the campaign, all you have to do is just copy this, you know, this code from the Clive website and then you will just change the coupon name. So instead of welcome 15, you would have campaign uh, 15 and that's the only difference. And for every code that you create, only what you, on, the only thing you need to change is the actual coupon name. So yeah, that's it. If you have any other questions about dynamic coupons, let me know. But other than that, it's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like, subscribe and check out my other videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.